Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the dullest of them all? Who feels like crashing a wedding? Oh! And here I was having such a good day. Everyone has magic within them. Yes. I definitely have a happily ever after thing going on. Mirror, mirror. Anyone know how to break a spell? Say hello to my little friend. Hey guys, I'm back and this is my review of Mirror Mirror. Now the plot of this movie is basically the Snow White story except with a comedic twist. You got the Queen, you got Snow White, the Queen tries to kill Snow White but she doesn't die, she goes to stay with the Seven Dwarves, blah blah blah, you know the story. Now when I first saw the trailer for this movie, I was not thrilled. This movie looked awful from the trailers, just awful. Every time the dwarfs appeared on screen, it, they just looked so annoying. Julia Roberts seemed annoying. It just didn't seem funny. So after seeing it, is it as bad as I thought? No. It's not good, but it's not terrible by any means. Let's start out with the stuff I did like. The film looks great. It's got great colors. The way the wardrobes blend with the snowy background is awesome. The set designs are great. It's like the woods and the castle all look very good and very realistic. And at times, the special effects can look pretty good. And despite what the trailer made it seem to be, Julia Roberts actually seemed like she was having a really fun time with this role. And she could actually good out a funny line once in a while. She's so ridiculously evil that it's hard not to enjoy her at times. And Nathan Lane can also be funny from time to time. But that's really about it. My biggest problem with this movie is that it's just not funny. Like I said, Lane and Roberts might make a funny joke every once in a while, but the dwarves aren't funny. I did not laugh once at the dwarves. The prince wasn't funny. There are quite a few plot holes that I won't get into here. The dwarves were really annoying, not as much as I thought they would be. Maybe this is just me, but what is up with Snow White's eyebrows? Her name's Lily Collins, and she's pretty, she's hot, but her, her eyebrows, I don't know, they were just really big. But the big reason this movie didn't work for me is that it's just boring. The action scenes aren't very interesting. I didn't care about the relationship between Snow White and the Prince, and like I said, it's just not that funny. Now this movie, at the time I'm making this review, is getting pretty good reviews. It's at a 91% on Rotten Tomatoes, and maybe I'm the only one, maybe I'm the only one who didn't like this, but I don't know. I just thought it was incredibly boring and not funny. And like I said, the movie isn't quite as bad as I thought it was going to be. But in the end, I kind of wish it was because then it would have gotten some kind of emotional response out of me. So I'm going to give it a 3.5 out of 10. It's not the worst movie of the year, but I don't know. I just really found it boring and dull. So that was my review of Mirror Mirror. Thanks for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Bye.